My name is Drew Holmes. I'm the lead writer on Far Cry 5. Uh, you know, the, the story itself was, was conceived by uh, myself and Dan Hay, the creative director, and Jean Sebastien's account, the narrative director. Um, and it really was um, a collaboration uh, of the three of us uh, trying to build uh, a, a story about Joseph Seed and the Project Needens Gate and you, uh, the player, as a, as a rookie sheriff's deputy who's stepping in to try and bring this man to justice. Uh, and it's, it's, about, it's about all sorts of things. It's about, it's about the cult, it's about madness, it's about the feeling of being on the edge. It's a story about communities, about families. Uh, there's, there's a lot of characters and themes to, to uncover uh, in the game. He's a man who uh, believes that God has told him that the end of the world is coming and that he's the person who's going to save humanity. Uh, it's, it's, uh, he, he has altruistic motives, I think, uh, uh, on the surface, at the start. He, he believes that he's doing the right thing, uh, but, but he's also insane. Um, and, and he doesn't really see the damage that he's causing. Uh, and he's, he's convinced a large swath of people to, to follow him, to believe in his message. Uh, he's, he's someone that I think is dangerous uh, and malevolent, but at the same time, there's something uh, at his core that's relatable and, and, and empathetic. Uh, I think that he, he sort of is, he fits in that pedigree of Far Cry villains, of Ross and Pagan men who are those sort of charismatic psychopaths. Uh, I, I think that, that Joseph, doesn't quite fit in that mold in that he's, I think there's, there's more to him when it comes to uh, what he stands for, what his goals are. Uh, I think that there's, there's, a, there's an added layer of his wants and his needs and his fears ultimately, and that's what's driving a lot of the, the story of, of Far Cry 5. I think the story and, and the themes of the game are really based more on where we're at globally as opposed to specifically in America. Um, we talked about in the past where the, the central theme of the game is, is the feeling of being on an edge. No matter where you are in the world, I think that you can relate to this idea of waking up in the morning and not being sure what's going to happen when you turn on the news or, or what this new piece of information you're gonna read on Twitter that next day. There, it, it just sort of feels like we're in a bit of a, a, a chaotic uh, spin right now. <laughs> I, you know, maybe some of them would. Uh, I, I think that what we wanted to build um, was, was a world that reflected the, the diversity of opinions and the diversity of, of people that you know, exist in, in, in the United States. This isn't a game about politics. I think this is a game about people and, and the people that make up um, the communities that we, we find ourselves in. <laughs> <laughs>